G'day guys, Matt here from Not In The Manual. Today's video is going to be on fitting carbon fibre side mirror covers to your car. So these covers are from Halo Black. Once again, I really like their, their quality and their styling for their products. They always just, just do something a little bit different with their product to, to make them unique. So I, I really, you know, really enjoy having their products on my car. And it's not really going to take that long to fit the side mirror covers. It's really just sort of slipping them on and peeling back some double-sided tape. So what I thought I would also do in this video is just go and have a look at the other products I've fitted to this car from Halo Black and just see how they're weathering and some pros and cons uh, of them, things that I like or don't like. And yeah, so there was the floor mats, there's the carbon fiber rear spoiler, there's the sports pedals, I've got the center console uh, cup holders and the center console trays as well. So I've been using them for a while now, so I've had them sort of, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking it's sort of four or five months, but it's probably longer. And we'll just see how, the, how they're all holding up. So I've really enjoyed uh, reviewing the Halo Black products for my car, and I don't have a, a paid arrangement with, with Halo Black Australia. Uh, Frankie is a great guy there, and I just don't, yeah, just just don't sort of like the whole paid promotion thing. So I so decided not to. I, I had started that initially, and I decided not to continue that. And the majority of the Halo Black products that I have in my car, I've purchased myself. So really, the only things that Frankie sent me as a bit of a thank you were the the floor mats and these side mirror covers that I'll be fitting here today. So the, 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 the quality of the, of the Halo Black products is pretty good as you'll see here when we, we go and have a look at them. So I don't mind really, you know, I've got this channel here to really just teach you things and the, the product reviews were just something that, that came along afterwards and there really has to be some sort of technical element to a product review that I do here on this channel. It has to be something that that has a technical benefit or just something of, of interest. So you know, fitting these side mirror couplers, I think a lot of these little small accessories, people might look at it and think, well, I don't want to spend this much money on an accessory and then not know how to fit it properly and, and possibly mess it up. So what I thought I would do occasionally is just do some videos on the accessories that I fit to my car. It means sometimes that it takes a while before I actually get time to shoot the video so the accessories sort of sit in a box in my garage and I'm dying to, to, to fit them but I need to wait until I've got time to actually film the, the fitting of that as well. So I've got a few things here. I've got a couple of other products I've got, I've bought for the car that, you know, I've got a tent that, that goes onto the back of the car and I bought that myself. I will be using that in a couple of months time for a mountain bike race so we might do a video on that then. I've also got a auto frunk opener power frunk set up and I need to fit that and do a video but I need to sort of set half a day aside. So when you're trying to film fitting these accessories it adds so much time to it. So I really, well, I'm not desperate to have a power frunk on my car so it's not, not a big deal but yeah I've, I've got that video coming as well. So yeah we'll, we'll see how we go but yeah let's let's get to just having a look at these accessories on the car and and we'll just, just see how they're going okay so i'm going to begin with the dry carbon fiber spoiler that's fitted here this is from halo black so we only just have a tiny little logo underneath here which uh, you can see there so i've been very very happy with this you can see here that it's weathering quite nicely it still looks like it did the day that it was fitted um, I do look after my car and clean it quite and polish it quite regularly so you know it's it, I think this would still hold up otherwise uh, you can see it's still on the car which is the main thing yeah I've been pretty happy with it and uh, you know walk up to the car and I love the look of it every time so the next thing we can look at I guess is the floor mats so go in here and take a look at those so I just gave them a vacuum a couple of days ago when I when I cleaned the car out. Now these are going very well. They're weathering quite nicely. This sort of tough nylon carpet here. I mean, you know, I can't even see too much of an indent there from my heel when I'm driving. And 
the good thing is I do pop that out regularly if I'm wearing my work boots in the car so I do not want to get oil and grease on that mat and yeah you do get a little bit of stuff accumulate underneath but at least it's being caught in the floor mat now you do get a little bit slips down in the side here but it's not really that bad you can see a tiny bit of dirt does get in underneath but you know that carpet looks as good as new underneath there so i've um, been very very happy with these so while we're here we may as well just talk about the pedals so they you know they're wearing they, they still look pretty good you know they're not tarnishing and none of these rubber sections are peeling off so that's quite good you know that would be one of the things that you know some cheaper pedals you'd probably find that they're not they don't use very good adhesive there when they stick the rubber sections onto those pedals yeah they're still on there solid they're not coming off i'm still really happy with the look of these pedals so I went for the plain ones but there are a couple of options there for different logos and you know you can get a, a stop and a go logo on the pedal but you know I really do like the sort of plain plain looking pedals and just keep in with the, the minimalist uh, styling of, of, of the, the Tesla car so you know been very happy with that so we'll just go around and have a quick look at the other mats the ones in the back and the passenger one and just see how they look okay so the rear mats are weathering quite well too uh, you can see there's just a little bit of sand underneath that i didn't vacuum up the other day i don't have as many passengers in the back of this car as i used to my kids are a lot older so we're not often going with a with a full loaded car yeah this is really sort of heavy duty nylon carpet um, so it just gives that that nice comfort and you know if we're going somewhere that's going to be sort of wet and muddy we can just take that out and then you just have the all-weather mats underneath the the tpu rubber so that's quite good as well so pretty happy with the rear ones all right and then last one here is the passenger side so you can see here that's weathering just as nicely uh, it doesn't need that extra heavy duty bit here for the heel for the for when you're braking and accelerating and you just give it a quick vacuum and it looks like brand new again um, this badge isn't coming off you know everything is just pretty good quality uh, I've, I've had a, a, a couple of test floor mats in the model 3 and these ones are, are just as good they fit quite nicely they're a, a very good fit I find they don't move at all and they're doing a great job at sort of protecting the carpet right up to the edges here and you know when it when it is you know as i said when it is uh, muddy or whatever we're doing something even if it's just really really wet you have the option of taking the nylon carpet section out and just having an all-weather mat there so while we're here in this part we may as well have a look at the we have the cup holder here it's super easy to clean you just take it out you can either just wipe it out while it's installed or you can take it out and take it inside and this is silicon so you should even just be able to run that through the dishwasher I mean it, it should be high temp silicon but I've never had to do that I find just giving it a wipe out with a with a wet wipe or something here is just good enough uh, it really depends how messy you are so you know I do often get you know coffee spilling and things and get, it gets inside there and it just really wipes off easily I've never really had to to sort of clean it any more than just a wet wipe inside um, inside my center console here i now have this um, uh, sexy knob from enhance auto uh, taking up a bit of space there but that doesn't really bother me and the halo black tray in here the the silicon tray you have the plastic bottom of it and the silicon insert it's been quite good i usually just keep my sunglasses there a couple of loose things i've got a hand sanitizer um i don't really keep it i'm not one of those people that just keeps a lot of junk in the center console here um, underneath i've just got a charger and some cables and things under there and then some yeah just some microfiber cloths for cleaning glasses and camera lenses and stuff so i find that's quite good only negative for this is i think it just sits a little bit too high so if you have stuff sticking up like that it does tend to sort of hit as you 
try and push it out of the way there but that's really only because I've got that there if I take that out that pushes out of the way no problem so yeah I've been been pretty impressed with that as well and just being a silicon insert as well just makes it pretty easy to clean okay another halo black accessory that I haven't really talked about on the channel before are these under seat storage bins so they just slide in there is really no installation necessary uh, they tuck in out of the way there they have these little spiky feet under here that grip into the carpet so that just stops it sliding forward so I can pull on that um, and yeah that that holds in there pretty secure so it is big enough for things like slides now I have uh, my size 12 feet uh, so you know they just sort of fit in there and you can use that for things like umbrellas and and uh, other stuff so it has a silicon liner in the bottom so you know if you put something in there wet it's not going to matter so we can just pull that out and that also just stops things rattling around I guess the only drawback with these under seat storage bins is if you have the seat right back like this it does protrude out a little bit and if you're someone that likes to have your feet tucked back that might get in the way but it is actually you know tucked back in there nicely and if you have the seat right down as well um, you know you're obviously going to be limited how much the height of something that you can have in there so these are quite a good accessory to have it makes use of that space so normally if you don't have a storage bin and you try and put things underneath they will sort of roll around um, I've got some yeah just some antibacterial wipes there that have ended up under my seat but at least if they're in a storage bin like this then you're you know going to be able to find them okay one of the other great little accessories I forgot to mention was this little bin for the car from Halo Black so this fits in the cup holder and it's nice uh, rubberized body and that can also go in the door and because of the rubberized body it doesn't rattle around if you don't happen to have the carpeted inserts here for the front doors so yeah that's quite a handy little thing I like to keep my car neat and tidy and that comes in handy so there's a couple of other accessories that I didn't have time to talk about when I filmed the other part of the video I have some boot liners here that I bought around the time I took the uh, delivery of this car accessories were in short supply so I ended up buying these TPU boot liners from a company called Bromarch and here in Australia and I just bought them because they were the only ones left in stock but they've turned out to be quite good they're nice and soft and I've put them in here because I throw my bike in the back here I fold the seats down and throw my bike on top and you can see there are pedals and, and sharp stuff on the bike that you would not want gouging into the carpet here in the back and so these just sort of velcro on they're, they're pretty easy to remove and replace if need be but uh, you can see there they've been doing a pretty good job and the only thing with these is then they they don't have very good grip underneath they got these little grip dots but uh, that does move around occasionally I need to just shove that back so that this can close but generally the curve in them back here stop them stops them from coming out too far okay moving down here to the side of the car I have the halo black mud flaps now they have been pretty good uh, they're still attached to the car they're nice and secure there uh, they're doing a great job just stopping the the stone chips coming up and they also stop accumulation of a lot of dirt and mud here at the back of the car but where they're most beneficial is here down the front so these front mud flaps you can see sit down pretty low they do scrape on some speed humps and that's why you need to make sure that they're nice and flexible so they've been quite good I have not had them fall off the car before I've driven the car and sort of mounted a curb parking somewhere one time 
I thought I was going to lose a mud flap for sure and they still didn't come off. These are most beneficial at stopping stones flying up and chipping all the way down here on the car. They also stop the dirt accumulating up on the side of your car too quickly and I've, I've, I've found it great. I did not have mud flaps on my Model 3 but now I'm wishing I had fitted them. So they're a definite benefit in fitting the mud flaps. And the Halo Black ones have been pretty good. I can vouch for them. That's why I thought I would do this video. So just to follow up and just be honest with you and tell you if there are problems. I have here the Magback rim case that I fitted to protect these 20 inch in, uh, uh, turbine wheels. Induction wheels, sorry. And you can see here they've been doing a good job. So uh, that's scratched up there. That would have been my rim. And you can see it's actually hit hard enough that it unclipped the rim case. So occasionally you're going to find an unclipped one of these. So if you hit a curb too hard uh, and crush the tyre, sometimes that can just pop them off. So you just clip them back in and you're okay. I've actually had a few of these start to come loose because they were fine uh, up until recently. I put some tyre shine, actually a decent amount of tyre shine onto the wheels it was an excess and I normally just quickly wipe up the excess but on this occasion I got interrupted and I didn't get to wipe the excess off so the excess must have soaked down and it's actually affected some of the adhesive tape in behind and I've had some just coming out a few more coming unclipped lately Magback uh, have, have replaced given me another set to put on the car and I'll just make sure that I don't let that tire shine get in behind but they're just trying to investigate and see if they can come up with a you know possibly a better adhesive or something they've made note of the issue that I've had now they are also looking at doing just the adhesive kits so that you don't have to buy an, another uh, wheel set but if you do buy a set of four of these I suggest you do buy an extra spare set so if you're someone that does hit the curb, uh, you definitely need that spare set to, to replace these segments as you damage them. But there are a couple of other options, single piece units on the market here now, but uh, I bought a set of those to have a look at and they actually look quite flimsy. I, I, I don't trust them as much as I would trust these magback rim cases. Just have a couple more accessories I wanted to make mention of here in the cabin. I have this sexy knob by Enhance Auto uh, with, with different functions here. It's mostly a benefit for the passenger and I'm going to do a full review and setup of that at a later date uh, once they've released their big April update. So I also have a button here from Enhance Auto just for glove box. So these are a pretty convenient thing to have. I have my glass roof sunshade which I don't use that often, I don't find the glass roof in this car is much of a problem at all so I tend to not worry about it but check out my review on this because there are some important things to note. I think it's good to have in case you need it and I always keep it in the back of the car. We've got plenty of storage space in the Model Y. Next thing is the Moshi Anti-Glare Screen Protector. I had this for two years in my Model 3 and I shifted it across to this car. It's still going fine, still in great condition, and as you can see with that sun coming in, it does a great job on the glare there, uh, blocking that glare. The next uh, accessory I want to mention is actually one of my favourites. Uh, this is the, the Magback wireless charging mount. It puts your phone in a really good position here to use apps like Waze or a better route planner. Uh, sitting here in the driver's position, it's actually in a pretty good spot and really it's it's just it helps you use apps like that and keeps it up here with a with a view where you can still see the road and have a quick glance down at directions and warnings that are shown there okay so we can just unbox them here you get a few things here from halo black it's just a nice experience to, to open up a product uh, you can see they've just put a lot of time and effort into how the goods are packaged and that, that experience of you know opening their product and when you first see it so we get some wipes here to clean the surface for the adhesive uh, we also have this I think is it's an air freshener so you can hang that 
in your car off the mirror there it's actually not too overpowering um, and then we just have some halo black stickers here we also have there's something i didn't get in here ah we have a little key tag here or you know belt clip and then everything is usually pretty well packaged in here so difficult to do one-handed but I haven't actually had these open yet okay it's all nice and protected as usual so here we are I can sort of bring that into the sun here so you can see yeah very nice it's like the spoiler it's that dry carbon fiber and you can look on the inside and see it is actually you know a pre-preg resin uh, dry carbon fiber yeah quite nice and so the the double-sided tape comes pre-installed so yeah let's get to let's get to fitting it that looks great i can't wait to see how it looks on the car okay so what we need to do is prep this surface first to make sure that the double-sided tape the 3m double-sided tape here is going to stick to that properly um, but you can just slip that over first and just see how neat a fit that this is on here so we can just make sure that's all going to fit properly and that looks quite good it's a it's a nice neat fit it almost feels like it's going to stay on there so what we'll do is just just give this a wipe down with isopropyl alcohol uh, i've got a spray bottle here and uh, a clean microfiber cloth and we'll just give this surface it's already pretty clean anyway but There'll be all sorts of polishes and stuff on here that we need to remove just to make sure that this tape will stick. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is peel off the all this 3M adhesive tape here. So we might need to time lapse this, but we'll see how it goes. My fingernails aren't that long. So there's two, there's four strips here okay so that's all peeled off now and we're ready to just in install this cover on here so just need to be careful as we put it on i'm just trying to spread these two side sections okay that is fully down And we just keep pressing around here for a minute or so just to make sure that that adhesive is all in contact there. Pretty good. That's all the way down. I can't see any of the plastic from the original mirror. It's all in place there now. Okay, let's just have a look around and see how it looks okay so that is the driver's side mirror carbon fiber cover fitted now yeah this dry carbon fiber the pre-preg carbon fiber just looks looks pretty cool um, it, it's just something that the print style carbon fiber just can't imitate yeah i really like it against the gray color of my car this is the look that i'm going for so what I might do is just fold the mirrors and we'll just have a bit, a bit more of a look at this vortex generator here that Halo Black have put here. Okay, so with the mirrors folded we can see this little vortex generator here. Now this is designed to just help the air leave the mirror's surface. So I don't think it's going to make that big a difference but the idea is to get the air uh, sort of swirling off here. Now with aerodynamics, it's all about how the air leaves your car. Well, that's the main focus of it anyway. So by generating this little vortex here, we just allow that air to leave the mirror a bit easier and reduce the drag slightly. 
but as I said it's not going to make a huge difference but it is just a nice little little styling feature there to the the mirror covers so we can see here that we'll fold the mirror back out you can see here it is a very neat and tidy fit here uh, not something you would get from a cheaper mirror cover so even when you're sitting in the car you're going to get this nice sort of carbon fiber border around the mirror the other good thing about this is if you have any damage or scratches like i do here it's going to cover that up so if you have hit your mirrors on a big garbage bin or on your garage door these sort of covers are, are going to be great because they can hide some of that damage and just be careful with the cloth you use that it doesn't leave um, fibers of the cloth around that are going to stop that uh, adhesive sticking so let's just peel these off here now okay so we will slip that over Press that down in place. And then just keep, so keep a bit of pressure, go around all those places where there was tape and just make sure that that is definitely sticking there in place. Okay, passenger side done. Yeah, I think these covers look pretty nice. Yeah, I definitely love that dry carbon fiber. I really just yeah, prefer this to the glossy carbon fiber or the carbon fiber print. Okay, so I hope you got something out of that. I've been really happy with the Halo Black products that I've installed on this car. I hope you like the look of those carbon fiber mirror covers. If you do, you can either jump onto the Halo Black Australian site or the Halo Black Global site, preferably the Australian site and use my code NITM I'll put that down on the in the description and I'll put a link to the product in the description as well and just use my code I don't make any money from that it's purely just there to give you a discount but just have a look on the site and see if you can get a better deal uh, there, there are sometimes uh, sales and specials on so don't feel like you have to use my code but the code is there if there's no other discount on offer and yeah guys uh, that's it for the video so hopefully you got something out of that at least you can see how the halo black products are weathering in my car and yeah i've been been pretty happy with with them all i don't really have too many negatives to to say about it so guys yeah just as always thanks for watching my videos and i will catch you next time